humans with real superpowers. Superpowered mutants aren't just in comic books. There are real people who have been born with unusual gifts so incredible that they can only be described as superpowers. Difference, though, is that the real superpowered people don't go around fighting crime, just go around leading normal lives, and for a pretty good reason. Superpowers you've always dreamed of having don't always make life incredible. As the real people who have them know all too well, superhuman powers come with some absolutely horrible downsides, and they can make life a living hell. The little girl who doesn't feel pain. Olivia Farnsworth never feels pain. She was born with a condition called chromosome 6 deletion, which has left her with no sense of pain and no sense of danger whatsoever. In some ways, it's an incredible gift. It helped her survive getting hit by a car. The car drove over her chest and dragged her several yards before finally stopping and yet, while her family freaked out, Olivia just got up, waved at her mother, and said, what's going on? The only reason she survived was that her total lack of fear kept her from tensing up. Because she doesn't feel pain, she wasn't even bothered by what, for most of us, would have been a near-death experience. For the most part, though, Olivia's condition is pretty much just horrible for everybody all of the time. She never feels tired or hungry, so her mother has to pretty much force-feed her food and sleeping medication just to keep her alive. Plus, our bodies feel pain for a reason, to keep us from getting hurt. To Olivia, that's never an issue, so she once managed to bite through her own lip without even noticing. The woman with perfect memory. Jill Price never forgets anything. She's been quizzed on everything that's happened in her life, and she's able to perfectly recall the date, time, and every tiny detail of everything she's ever experienced. Her mind's like an unending video recorder that can replay any moment from her past. It sounds pretty cool as long as you don't have to live through it. Price herself, though, calls it non-stop, uncontrollable, and totally exhausting. Memory is so vivid that she has trouble focusing on what's going on around her. She's constantly distracted by recollections of the past, making it extremely difficult for her to focus on learning new things. Her memory doesn't actually work on things that are worth remembering. She also only really remembers things from her own experiences when she tries to memorize facts at school. Her memory is, if anything, weaker than most other people. The woman who can see 10 inch million colors. Most people have three types of cones in their eyes, which allow them to see a spectrum of 7 million colors. The other millions of colors out there in the universe are imperceptible to all but a few animals and one woman who is only known by the code name CDA29. CDA29 has four fully functioning color cone types, allowing her to see a massive spectrum of 100 million colors. She's seen a whole rainbow of colors, including millions upon millions that the rest of us are incapable of even imagining. This would be awesome if anybody else could see them. The practical result is that she just sees a bunch of colors that she can't communicate to other people. For the most part, the complex shades she can see just make it hard for her to understand the colors other people are seeing. As a result, before it was confirmed that she had tetrachromatic vision, CDA29 was mistakenly labeled as colorblind. There's actually a theory that says that 2-3% of all women can see the full spectrum of 100 million colors but just don't realize that there's anything special about it. Instead, like CDA29, they usually just get written off as colorblind their male offspring actually are. In a strange twist of irony, the gene that lets some women see extra colors leaves men colorblind, meaning that CDA29 will never be able to share her unique vision with any of her sons. The man with fantastically stretchy skin. Henry Turner is a real-life Mr. Fantastic. He was born with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, a condition that gives him incredibly loose skin that can be stretched like a rubber band. So, he is in constant pain every moment of his life. From the moment he wakes up to the moment he drugs himself to sleep, Gary Turner feels a constant, searing pain below his skin that hurts so badly that he has to wear morphine patches just to get through the day. Stretchy skin has also effectively left him a hemophiliac. Skin has a very hard time clotting blood, meaning that when he gets cut, blood usually just spills out of him without stopping. He takes so much pain medication to get by that he often passes out, sometimes staying unconscious for as long as 40 hours before he can snap out of it. Constant bouts of unconsciousness made it impossible for him to finish school, severely affecting his options for the rest of his life. The only way he's been able to get by is to take up a job as a circus performer. He works as part of a modern freak show, showing off his condition that tortures him for the entertainment of others. A woman with mutant super beauty. Elizabeth Taylor is a mutant, technically speaking. Dazzling, blue-violet eyes and doubly thick set of eyelashes are the results of a mutation of the FOXC2 gene that affects some women, causing them to grow extra eyelashes and to have a particularly stunning iris hue. Advantages to superhuman beauty are pretty obvious. In Elizabeth Taylor's case, they helped propel her to superstardom. It doesn't always work out as well as it did for her. The FOXC2 mutation can cause hair to grow. In
in some uncomfortable places. Often, those extra eyelashes will rub against the woman's eyeball, which can be so irritating that it'll make them tear up. If left untreated, it can even break down the surface cells on the eye until it starts to hurt her vision or even makes her go blind. Mutation is also linked to a high risk of heart problems. Women with the FOXC2 mutation are at a significantly higher risk of heart disease. Incidentally, that was what ultimately killed Elizabeth Taylor. If Taylor's eight marriages prove anything, it's that set of beautiful eyes can put a woman through a life of heartbreak before it finally makes the heart give up altogether. The man who was immune to AIDS, Steve Crone, had an inexplicable genetic mutation. For some reason, he was immune to AIDS. As he was a gay man living through the HIV epidemic, Crone seemed, from the outside, to be as lucky as any man could be. The sexually transmitted disease was killing everyone around him, Crone stayed in perfect health which sounds amazing as long as you don't think about it. Ron was forced to go on living while watching everyone he cared about die. Here's how he described his experience. What's hard is living with the continuous grief. He kept losing people every year, six people, seven people. It's not easy when you're losing friends and you're that young, and it goes on for such a long period of time. Ron ended up going to doctor after doctor, begging them to study him, because he simply couldn't understand why he was still alive. He ended up finding out that he had a genetic mutation that made him resistant to AIDS, but they couldn't actually do anything with it. They weren't able to use Crohn's condition to save the life of anybody else. In the end, watching his friends die became too much for Crohn to handle. He was 66 years old, he resolved to join them. Steve Crohn committed suicide. The woman with super hearing. Christine Mitchell was 39 years old when she got superhuman hearing. She developed a condition called superior canal dehiscence that caused everything she heard to be amplified to incredible degrees. She was like Superman, basically, except that it was a bit more socially acceptable for her to walk around in blue tights. As it turns out, though, having super hearing makes life, in Mitchell's words, a misery. Mitchell's hearing was so strong that she could hear her own eyeballs moving. She said that moving her eyes to the side sounded like sandpaper on wood in my head. When your eyeballs are deafening, every other sound is absolute torture could hear own heartbeat as loud as a drum. The hiss of a coffee machine was so loud that it made it hard for her to stay upright, and her own voice would make her nauseous. Eventually, Mitchell managed to get rid of her super hearing through a life-saving operation. It wasn't easy, the doctors gave her the choice between having her skull cracked open so they could operate on her brain or plugging her ear canal with extra bits of muscle from around the ear, but Mitchell said it was more than worth it to be able to walk down a hall without passing out. The man with super intelligence. Daniel Tammet has a superhuman brain. He's capable of reciting pi by memory to 22,514 decimal places, and he can master languages faster than most people can master asking where the washroom is. For example, after only spending one week of studying the language, he conducted a full interview in near flawless Icelandic. All of that would be great if all life required from people was to recite the digits of pi. The brain breaks everything down into concretes and tangibles, Tammet has explained. It's like putting on a DVD, calling a taxi, or doing algebra equations, which use letters to represent unknowns, are very confusing for Tammet. He gets so easily distracted that he isn't allowed to drive a car. The hardest challenge for him is understanding when other people's actions don't make perfect scientific sense. Motions, in particular, are very confusing for him. Tammet says that when he used his abilities to pull off a real-life Rain Man victory at Vegas, he had to put a fake show of happiness didn't really feel much of anything, but he did for everyone watching him. He knew it was what they expected. Man who fears nothing. Bertie Cernick isn't afraid of anything. He doesn't even have to option to be afraid over the course of two surgeries, undertaken to treat his Cushing syndrome, he had the glands that produce adrenaline removed. Now he's physically incapable of being scared. There are some definite upsides to living without fear. Cernick can jump out of a plane without feeling even the slightest bit of nervousness. And he does, often. He started using his special power to do stunts to raise money for charity. Jumping out of a plane doesn't really give Cernick the same thrill it gives the rest of us. In fact, pretty much everything is boring for him. He said that when he goes on roller coaster rides with his family, he's about as excited as we would be sitting still at the kitchen table. Doesn't mean he feels nothing, though. Cernick does feel one thing, constant, unending pain. Still suffers from Cushing syndrome which has left him with brittle, arthritic bones. Now that he doesn't have adrenaline, though, he no longer has one of the body's most potent natural painkillers, meaning that every ache he feels is far, far worse. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video. Peace.